So, Joby, where are we going today? Well, uh, heading down this road, the same one we went to uh, down Southwest Bay in the same car, uh, same people. Well, I, I think I wanted to go to, uh, what's that place? It's by Indianapolis. But does it have like green it has, it has and a wood? Mall? I think so. so. Greenwood. Oh, Greenwood. Yeah. Greenwood. The place that sells wood that's green. Yeah, that's the only place you can get green wood, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in Indiana. Otherwise, you go down to the deep south and you get uh, syphilis easily there. Yeah. There's a lot of green wood. Or unless you visit the, the, the Hulk, you might get some green wood. Oh, lucky. yeah, the, the Hulk on, in the morning when he has his morning wood. That's what he's got. <laughs> it's green. Uh, but Mark Ruffalo, uh, anyway, <laughs> about um, about Greenwood. Uh, would you tell him a little bit about Greenwood, well, man? Be kind. Greenwood has a lot of stores, okay? It's got Disc Replay, it's got Walmart, it's got the Greenwood Park Mall, which is, is I, well, I've never been to it. But, um, so it's, yeah, it's got Walmart, it's got all these stores, it's got a bunch of restaurants, it's got Joe's Crab Shack, which is, it has a lot of crabs, it's got Hooters with the two zeros, their boobs, and, um, you know, just, man, it's just a great place, but uh, we're going down this way, we're, I don't know what road we're on, but we're on an undisclosed road, no, we're on a disclosed road going down past the church, past this senior living home, and we are making our way to Greenwood. Yeah, you got to make sure that when you go to Greenwood, you follow Southport Road or Man Road, or there's another way, too. There's like an interstate in Indiana. You should see the name of it up here. We just pulled off on the side of the road at some random apartment. Uh, that's where we started from. And now, what, what are some memories that you have at Greenwood? Um... Well, I think my most fond memories are Black Friday, uh, Black Thursday and Friday, but back then we used to just go on Black Friday, just because, you know, they got so many sales, and not just the sales that you can buy stuff at discounted prices, but it's just so nostalgic, because we used to wake up like 3, 4 in the morning, then as the years went by, 5, 6 in the morning, so I think my most of my memories are either at the mall, just, just for the mall, or uh, Black Friday. What about yours? My memories are Black Friday, of course, um being young and having everyone. I don't know if you were born yet. You might have been, but I don't remember you being there. Uh, Aunt Debbie, Diane, your dad, David, Grandpa, Grandma, Brittany, I, Holly, Adam, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing some people. Uh, we all went at 3 in the morning, stood outside Walmart. Long line. Yeah. Everyone's got their hoodies on. There's a black guy that has nothing on but a black shirt and an old man that had his suit on for whatever reason like it was a formal introduction yeah. to walmart oh my god i hope the gopro's Whoa, getting those, those birds. birds for the love of god please tell me it's getting those birds it could be a new opening wow yeah for history and reviews it could be the omega man 2 opening yeah. started off really dark sorry about that if you don't know what the omega man 2 is look up the omega agents hd on youtube and watch the omega man part one thank you go to that channel like what he said and uh, <laughs> we're making our way on the highway um, right now. As you see, you can see the highway right now. We're we're uh, going to it right now, and there's a bunch of traffic. But actually, no, there's not a bunch of traffic. It's, it's kind of empty-ish. It's usually much more crowded at 5 o'clock, so we beat the traffic, I guess you could say. That opening, like with the birds and stuff, reminded me of the Walking Dead opening where the birds come out of the tree. Yeah. Uh, if you don't watch The Walking Dead, then you probably should. Uh, if you do watch The Walking Dead, what are your thoughts on the new season? Let us know. Look, tell us in the comments. Exactly. Uh, other remem uh, memories of Greenwood, do you have any others besides Black Friday? Um, well, I do like uh, Disc Replay. And they used to have one of my most fun as well was they had this little tiny Halloween shop in the corner between Walmart and Disc Replay. And there was always this old guy that worked there every Halloween. And then it would just either stay there but it'd be closed or it would just be become something else kind of like how party city does the new year's inside and then it goes to halloween when the season comes so that's 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 a really fond memory and just going there and hanging out is just greenwood's awesome and it's not that far away if you live in central indiana yeah uh, i also remember greenwood as well for disc replay uh the original disc replay yeah uh, I remember I was like, disc replay, so it's probably just, au for the longest time when I was younger, I thought it was just audio CDs, and then one day I decided to walk in and saw all these old games, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, um, Panasonic, 3DO, if you remember that, good God, 1996, <laughs> um, 
they don't sell those games there anymore. DVDs, uh, Blu-rays, and now they're just... They basically have used stuff and then new stuff, like controllers for your system and stuff wrapped up. And then they changed it earlier this year to be more uh, modern. They did. They, they really did. They revamped uh, my uh, disc replay, which is it's near here, and then the one here in Greenwood, they, they both remodeled and added kind of a blue look ish with new carpet and a new layout and, and it just looks all new new wallpaper and whatnot and it is nice but the old the old disc rate replay was really like it kind of felt like one of those stores that was like new to the world and everyone they were setting it up and getting everything ready and it was like it was cool it was, it was like bare bones disc replay now that it's like a newer version which is it's still good it's still great oh my god are those uh are those just bikers or security or officers that might boom hmm might be security or they might be going to work. Not sure. Hopefully the GoPro's picking it up. And we are headed to two other places, Clayton, Indiana, and someday Camp Atterbury. Yes. Because I think that should be the finale is just Camp Atterbury because for some reason I feel such... The, we've been to Greenwood millions of times. Yeah. And um, maybe not the mall. No, we haven't been to the mall ever, Greenwood Park Mall. It's, we want to experience stuff with you, but Camp Atterbury, we've gone... I've gone a few more times than he has, yeah. but not that many because things. I'll explain to him afterward. But uh, equally, both uh, he's gone a handful of times, and I've gone a palm full of times. You know, it's it, I, I, we've been down to Camp Atterbury just a few times. It hasn't been something that we yeah. make a trip every weekend. Or, I think it was. I've you've gone four times during a summer with me. We went every weekend once. Yeah. Uh, well, two summers. I think we went twice one summer and then twice the next summer, 2008, 2009, and then I went two other times, and then I asked him if he wanted to go before. So it was, I went two times before I asked him to go. Yeah. And there was an a big bird, a pigeon, perched on a sign, <laughs> and it was real because it moved. It said. I hope, hope we got it. I hope it did. As you can see, Greenwood's updated a bit. They got solar panels right here. They've got a lot of, um, uh, you're, yeah, you're, you're good. It's an old person driving, like, <laughs> you did that face. Oh, that's going to be the thumbnail, me making the ugly face. And you yeah, laughing. And smiling. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we're off the interstate. This is Greenwood right now. You just saw the sign. And um, Greenwood has a look, like the interstate ramps look old. Yeah, and the first thing you see coming into it is that 8 Motel, which is unlike any other thing you've ever seen. And, and Greenwood does have a look. Like, you, right here, as you guys see on the footage, hopefully, it just, you come into view, and everything slows down. Traffic is slowed down. Everything is, looks like kind of old-ish. And not too old, but there's a travel land. That's distinct, because I've never seen any of those there. Then they shut down, which is depressing. Yeah. So, and they are remodeling the streets and roads as we speak, but which is good because now it's flat and the GoPro hood camera and this camera won't be as shaky. Yeah. Which is something, if you're using GoPros and you're driving, unless it's an action scene and you need the shake and whatever, that's fine. But if you're doing like a professional travel channel, then you need like really easy roads or you need the GoPro Hero 5 that has image stabilization, which I think is great. Yeah. Uh, but Joe made a good point. Um, this side of, of Greenwood is like the ghetto... Mm -hmm. Old fashioned side, and the inner parts of Greenwood from Walmart to I think the Ray Skillman Ford, which is by the Steak and Shake, about an eight mile stretch is the modern yeah. uh, commerce yeah. section. And, and don't for, don't forget Best Buy. There is a Best Buy here in Greenwood, which is it's it's nice. Really brings it to the modern age, I think. Yeah. So enjoy all the sights. Uh, Job and I are going to cut the dash cam video right now so you can enjoy the time lapse that we play. Job, please do the countdown. Three, two, one. We will see you there.
Hey. <laughs> Give me a back of ball. Just not enough. This thing is too big for me. It says curry. It says curry. Tom Curry. Bruce Wayne. No, the lower levels don't go on the escalator. It's so weird, like, we're on level ground and we can walk dirt. I just think that outside those walls, it's nothing but dirt. Oh, 
down. Uh, just so you know, I'm going to probably get one of these. I mean, try it on. It was not there, so I'll try it. Sorry. This is extra large because I can never find a size that fits me on anything, not even underwear. <laughs> oh, it has it on the back too. Oh, it does? Yeah, it has a big Indiana. Oh, cool. See, it's like it's really too big, but it's good. This place is endless and it's great. And hopefully our uh, Black Friday video from last year will go up just because of the title. I hope so. Take a few steps forward. Seeing those pretzels. I know. I can't believe that affected you. That was, I was like, oh my god. That, like, I got it the week before, and then, <laughs> then and both times they made me do it. And I've never done that with their pretzels because I love that. I want to get the food court and see how packed that place oh. is. why my phone camera is making everything blurry so the video is going to be 
super, super, you know. Yeah. But, oh well, it's a fun episode. It's nothing really. I'm going up further in the dicks. <laughs> that should be the transit. I'm not sure. Sure. Yes, the Joker. <laughs> I have seen the presence of man. I have. Oh, oh yeah, we're done with the mall. Um, sorry, I was having flashbacks to Vietnam. We just got done with the mall, and let me tell you, it was it was very Greenwoody. Um, saw a lot of people in there. Had a good time. That uh, vanity plate in front of us says dancing, which is weird. And his violin was trucking, and he's going away. And I was gone. But, um, he went to the wind. But I did, I did we did have fun. And the mall is always fun because you get to see, um, people that don't know how to dress right. And a big <laughs> bug on my window that he's chilling out. He's, he's taking a ride with us downtown to nowhere. Oh, uh, the interstate, um, is. Straight line. I, you're, t- you're talking about which way to go back. To yeah, and then you just take a left exit. Okay. Or whatever. Yeah, it's one of those. It's really I hate interstates because you have one that goes one way and then you yeah. have to go further. So if we mess up, we can always just. That car looks weird. Look at that. Holy crap! Hopefully the GoPro Go Mo is getting that. That is a custom made Grand Theft Auto Five skin for your car in real life. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's called the black and uh, red webbing on GTA Five exclusive. Yeah, the livery is. They added that to. Um, Customized weapons vehicles called Livery can have lines and crap. It's weird. Huh. Uh, but of course, uh, I'm going to be saying that I'm absolutely shocked because Greenwood was way more packed than I thought it would be. The, oh, day. Yeah. the mall was way filled up. Sorry about not being able to get so much of things. It's just they have security and it says no video allowed. When it's Black Friday and there's a lot of people that they won't be able to stop, we'll bring the GoPros inside instead of cell phone. Yeah. And I mean, how are you going to stop people? I might even get my hat and have like a hat harness. I mean, yeah. How are you gonna stop someone on on Black Friday? It'll be chaotic. People will be fighting, pushing. Things will be falling over. Products will be breaking, which is not what they intended. If you didn't see our last year's Black Friday video, check it out. There were girls and guys that were fighting over twenty dollars wireless printers and knocked them over, and it was it was just a phenomenal experience. It was. And we call Black Friday lights out because it usually starts at nighttime, even though the lights come on. Yeah. But it's lights out because it's dark. And that's what it is. And uh, but yeah, Greenwood is just a uh, oh, oh, a magical place indeed. It is, um, you know, and there are more places that they have now that I can actually see. They have the Greenwood um, called the, the. It's just they have a place near the uh, mall called Greenwood Place, which is just the most unoriginal name. They have Sleep Number, PNC Bank. They've got Party City. They've got Toys R Us. They got Chipotle. They got Hooters. They got Marshalls. They got Home Goods. They got Babies R Us, which sounds really weird. And they got Big Lots because I got a big lot where this car goes. Yeah, Big Lots. And the only thing in here that's still original from the original Greenwood is the Chuck E. Cheese over there. Wish we could show you, but we don't have another GoPro. I love that one, but it is kind of ghettoed out now, which is sad. It is. It's like, but the only thing. But very fond memories. The only place that's still. Original, yeah. Everything else is really that changed. has been there since before I was born. Yeah, in 1990. Original structures are still there, like Walmart and, and the PNC and and Disc Replay. But 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 they remodeled so much it yeah. just is like almost unrecognizable. Chuck E. Cheese has been slightly remodeled, um, but you know they need to update. Otherwise, you're gonna have burst pipes. You're gonna have burst diapers. You're gonna and have in the babies ball. are us. Diarrhea, doo doo, and the ball uh, within playground. 
they, they take the, they took the playground out of that Chuck E. Cheese, didn't yep. they? They, I think they're removing the one in uh, Avon too. Whoa! Like they're taking that play. Oh wow! I think I don't know. They might. I think it's something to do with like parents can't really watch their kids well inside of it because it's so obstructed, so they keep hitting, hurting themselves. I have no idea. At least in the Avon, that's what I've heard. Oh man! But um, if it's still around, which maybe I mean I know the Chuck E. Cheese and Avon's there, but you know yeah, they're taking out the ball pin and the the play pins and the, the, the I remember I used to climb up the stairs, yes. crawl through, slide down this tunnel like a snot nosed brat I was. There was one time when you were really young, and we all had this happen uh, at the Greenwood one before they had one in Avon. I think he came on my birthday, or it's his birthday, and I'm, everyone's asking, "Where's Where's Joe at? Where's Joe at?" And then we just hear a few minutes later, after looking all over, Wah! I'm not. I done it too. Ashley did it. Brittany did it when she when, when we were younger. He was trapped in the playground, couldn't find out how to get out. Yeah, I've done it. Yeah, we, we all had that happen, and I'm pretty sure you, <laughs> if you've been to Chuckie's, had that happen where you just that scream screamed. was hilarious. And it, but McDonald's when they used to have that playground we went in, yeah, and we had someone always always pooped in it. Yeah, it just smelled like poop in there. Literally, kids would poop in the McDonald's playground, and that's why they had to take them out. Yeah, you got to remember those kids are like, ladies and gentlemen, those kids are like. Two, three years old, one year old, newborn, still in the womb. Um, so pooping is at their utmost important. Up, up. Why did I say? I said that twice. Up. What the? My language is botched. They, they just poop so much, and it's so gassy that when you open the doors, nothing but fear-filled fart air hits your face, and you just immediately retract from what you thought was going to be a fun time, and realize that there are people pooping their britches and their diapers. These kids, I tell you. I didn't mean to hit them. These kids, I tell you, they poop. That's going to make it easier to sink. And that's our thoughts on Greenwood and uh, the McDonald's and every place else. Thank you. Enjoy the time lapse.